hi guys welcome to another tutorial today we're going to look at how you can mark your registers on a Google classroom now there are two different ways that applies to different schools now let's go to classwork once you're in the class you want to place the register in go to classwork if your G Suite system is set up in such a way that you can create separate classes this is the way you're going to enter your register the first step is to create a topic I'm going to call this topic daily register once you add your topic will be placed here now under this daily register you want students to be able to sign in every day when they log on to the system go to create once more click on question the question is the first thing that the students will see so you want to ensure that they know that it's the register and what date it's for so I'm going to name this register October 12 2020 and below I'm going to ask the question are you present your instructions are based on you at this section where you see short answer you have to change that to multiple choice add your options I'm going to add my first option yes miss you can just put yes if you want to I'm going to add another option yes miss but logged in late and I'm going to add a third option yes miss but having internet issues and from here I'm going to be able to understand how many students were early how many were late and how many were having challenges over this side you're going to go to points make sure it's unmarked or ungraded that's what you'll see due date you have to set the due date the due date to the exact day the time is optional so if you want to give them a cut off time you can put the time here topic is important because you want to ensure that this question falls under the correct topic so if you have 10 topics the 10 topics will show up here you will just have to choose one we want it on the daily register and that's the importance of creating the topic before you create the question from here you can either ask which will be posted instantly or you can schedule for another day so say for example you want to create all your registers for the week at one point you're going to use schedule and just schedule them for the date and the time that you want them to be released if you save it as draft you can go back in and make changes to it if it is that you want to add this to multiple classes you're just going to click on the classes that you want it to be added to once you press ask it will be added to the class automatically notice it's here so when you press on it you'll be able to see how many students answered each question so it would be easier for you to know how many students you have early late or having issues now we're just going to address the classes we're just going to address the G Suite system that is set up in such a way that all the classes are in one stream you will follow these steps go to create topic and for topic you're just going to put in your class if it is your homeroom let's do homeroom homeroom and I'm going to put in my name once I add that it means that along with other classes my homeroom will be shown so I want to create a daily register for my homeroom and if I wanted to put homeroom daily register I could have done that now I'm going to create a question as well same heading register October 12 2020 and I'm going to ask the same question change the short answer to multiple choice and put in the responses once 
once I'm finished there, I'm going to go over and ensure that it's unmarked or ungraded. Enter the due date. You can enter the time, it's optional for you. And you want to ensure that you choose your topic. So here is the difference where your topic would not just be a section in your individual class, it would be a section in one class. Now here is the difference with the topic. For the topic, you are going to choose homeroom along with your name. Or if you named it homeroom daily register, you can do that as well. But the important thing here is to know that once all the classes are on the same stream, it means that you have to differentiate with the topic. If you don't choose a topic, the register will be placed anywhere on the screen and you're going to have to drag it to your class. So let's go to ask. The same rules apply. You can schedule or you can save as draft. But once you click ask, it will be posted instantly. Notice that it's dropped on the homeroom. So in an ideal class where all the classes are in classwork, you would see all the different subject areas going all the way down here. So once the students sign on, they would just have to go to homeroom, mark their names, and then they can go to other classes and do the same. I hope this little tip was helpful to you. If there is any other way that you do your register that you'd like to share with me, you can leave it in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.